guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm sharing with you four of the best meatball recipes. You're not gonna wanna miss it. So I'm Kristen, I am sister number two from SixSisterStuff.com and yes, there are six of us and yes, we are all sisters. So today we're teaming up with Cooked Perfect Meatballs to bring you these four delicious and easy meatball recipes. And I'm telling you, these meatballs are amazing. You can grab these at your local Walmart. They're in every Walmart. And the kind that I like to use is just the homestyle meatballs because they're so versatile, you can put them in any meatball recipe. So spring is coming and we all know that things get pretty wild in the springtime. So we love sharing with you simple, easy, and fast recipes. So that's why we're teaming up with Cooked Perfect Meatballs because their meatballs make life so easy for you. Now you'll see in these four recipes that I have how fast and easy these recipes are. You can get them on the table in under 30 minutes. All right, you guys, let's go make these meatball recipes. So the first recipe I'm making today are meatball sliders. Now we're gonna use Cooked Perfect Meatballs. These are the Italian style ones. So because I am making 18 sliders, I'm gonna count out 18 meatballs. So this recipe works if you have a small family, if you only wanna make six, or if you wanna make 24, you could do that too. So 18, we're good. Next, I'm gonna add a 24 ounce jar of marinara sauce. If you're going to do 24 meatballs, you can still use a 24 ounce jar. If you're gonna use less, go ahead and only use half of your marinara jar. Now I'm cooking these on medium-high heat and just kind of mixing them around for a few minutes just to make sure all the meatballs are covered in the marinara sauce. Now as it starts to simmer, I'm going to put the lid on and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. Now when they're all done cooking, I'm going to pull them off and set them to the side. So while my meatballs were cooking, that's when I got my rolls ready. So I have 18 rolls in my big pan. Hawaiian rolls are my favorite when making sliders. Now, part of my prep was slicing the rolls, so I sliced them off into sixes. Now I'm gonna place one meatball on top of each bottom roll. So now that I have a meatball on each one, I'm gonna start putting the sauce on. So I'm not really measuring anything, I'm just gonna try it and put a little bit of sauce onto each meatball, kind of letting it slide down and cover the bun. Now, you can't have sliders without the cheese. So I have one cup of mozzarella I'm putting on, and then also one fourth cup of Parmesan cheese that I'm just spreading around the top. Then you're just gonna place your buns right back on top. Now for the top of the sliders, you're gonna take three tablespoons of melted butter, add a half teaspoon of salt and a half teaspoon of pepper, one fourth cup of Parmesan, and then you're gonna mix it really well. You can use the fine Parmesan, but I love the shredded Parmesan on top of my sliders. Now you're just gonna spread your topping all over. It doesn't have to be very pretty because it's just all gonna melt into that bun anyways. Now they are ready to cook. So you're gonna bake them at 375 degrees for 10 minutes with the foil on. After that 10 minutes, you're gonna take it off and you're gonna cook it for two to three more minutes. Be sure to watch it so it doesn't burn. Now when they're all done, you're gonna let them cool for a few minutes before cutting into them. Now, my advice is don't sneak a bite until dinner time or you'll end up eating a few of them. Now, this is the perfect, quick, and fast recipe for dinner if you're looking for a good one. These meatballs make it so easy. On to recipe number two, Swedish meatballs. Now, I'm going to start with the cooked perfect meatballs in the bottom of my pressure cooker. Now, using these meatballs, since they're pre-cooked in a pressure cooker, makes them so easy to use. So go ahead and just dump the whole thing in. Next, I'm gonna add one whole chopped onion, two tablespoons of steak sauce. Now you're gonna add a half teaspoon of all of these, salt, pepper, paprika, and garlic salt. On top of that, you're gonna add one can of cream of mushroom soup. Then add two cups of beef broth. I kinda just eyeballed it. Then you're just gonna mix it up a little bit. You don't have to do a ton of mixing, 
but just to spread things around a little. All right, when you're all done, you're gonna put the lid on top and make sure it's on sealing. Then you're gonna cook it for 10 minutes in your pressure cooker. If you're using a slow cooker, it's gonna be the same recipe, but just six hours on low. Now when it's all done, you can do a quick release or release on its own, and you just take the lid right off, mix it up. I love to serve mine over mashed potatoes. All right, recipe number three, and one of my favorites, sweet and sour meatballs. All right, first we're gonna chop the vegetables. I already chopped my red pepper and my onion, and now I'm just gonna chop my green pepper. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. So I kinda just chop off the sides, so then I really don't have to deal with any of the seeds. So I'm just gonna chop it into pretty big chunks because sweet and sour, you wanna be able to actually see the vegetables. All right, I'm all done chopping. Now I'm gonna scoot things over and pull up my pressure cooker again. So I'm gonna pull out my cooked perfect meatballs. Now as you're looking at the store, you'll find these at Walmart on the frozen aisle and you can't miss them because of the green, white, and red packaging. They just stand out. Now like the other recipe, we're gonna put the meatballs on the bottom of my pressure cooker. I'm gonna add all my vegetables next that I already chopped up. Then I'm gonna add one fourth of brown sugar just right on top. Next you're gonna add one fourth cup of soy sauce and then one 10 ounce jar of sweet and sour sauce. Next I have a 20 ounce can of pineapple chunks. If you are cooking with a pressure cooker, make sure you add all of the juice in. If you're cooking with a slow cooker, you want to drain your pineapple first, then add your pineapple. And lastly, one half teaspoon of garlic powder. Now, if you're using a pressure cooker, you're also going to add a half of a cup of water. All right, you're going to put your lid on, make sure it's on sealing, and you're going to cook it for 10 minutes on manual. If you're using a slow cooker, six hours on low. Now, as you can see above, I did a quick release. You don't have to do a quick release if you don't want to. When you're done, you're just gonna stir it around. Oh, it is so good. I like to serve mine on top of rice. Now, our last recipe is called brown sugar meatballs. Again, I'm using the home style cooked perfect meatballs. I love it because they are flame broiled, already cooked, so all you really have to do is heat them up. So I'm gonna dump them onto the bottom of my pan. I'm gonna turn my heat to medium high heat, add about a half a cup of water, and let them cook for a little bit. While those are cooking, I'm gonna make my brown sugar glaze by using a half a cup of brown sugar, one tablespoon of milk, two tablespoons of vinegar, and then two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. Then you're just gonna mix that up until it starts to simmer. Once it's simmering, you can take it right off the stovetop and put it onto your meatballs. This is the perfect recipe if you just need a meal in about 12 minutes. That's how fast it is. Now I'm just gonna stir around the sauce so it can cover each meatball. Then I'm gonna put my lid on top and let it simmer a little bit. Now once the meatballs are heated all the way through, you are ready to serve them. Now I like to serve mine on toothpicks, but I also like to serve mine on rice. Either way is delicious. Now be sure to check out your local Walmart because Cooked Perfect has all kinds of different flavors. So I hope you love our meatball recipes. I would love to hear what you guys have on a busy weeknight that is fast and easy and that your kids will actually eat. All right guys. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you later.